It's Azura. Naughty. What's going on here with Ooh. Ushba Tesoro? Yeah, he just propped there. He saw something and the rider came off. But the Exos rider's done a great job here. Look at him. I mean, this is a scary moment here. If he gets loose, I mean, that could be his Breeders' Cup Classic. Now he's got... I thought he had the rain stuck between his legs. Christina, do we have outriders out there that can come up and, and help with this situation right away, or, or is this rider on their own? We absolutely have outriders that can come, but something like that, and here they are going to assist breezes for you. Even the crew that went to Saratoga, on a James back yeah. there a couple I've had, weeks ago. I've had to wake up early just three mornings in a row, and I've been... It's just been, uh, it's been awful. It's really been awful. Here's Ushba Tesoro as... The Japanese bringing three for the Classic. Ushpa Tesoro was fifth in the Classic last year behind his uh, countrymen, Derma Sotogake, White Abario, and Proxy. He has only won once since then, and that was back in December. He is 0 for 3 on the year. Three runners up, though. Good races to finish second in the Saudi Cup and the Dubai World Cup. So he's been second for $32 million worth of purses. <laughs> 5.9 million he's run this year. Without winning. Without winning. Three second place finishes. That's got to be some kind of record. $15 million total. Yep. For the seven-year-old son of Orfev, and he was a wonderful horse to watch. His sire himself, too. A lot of stamina in the pedigree of Ushba Tesoro, and good to see him traveling once more at the age of seven. Yeah, I mean, he's a true... I mean, we've seen a lot of U.S. influence. Obviously, there is Orfev, a son of Sunday Silence, but a, a true Japanese pedigree on the dam side. But that's him just breaking off into a gallop here. Just a little skittish starting out, but he's for a horse that's, you know, making career start number 36, traveled all around the world. He carries his condition. You can see why he's able to run all over the world there. I mean, he's a well-built horse. 2023 was a big year uh, for him. Uh, quite a few victories, as you can see. Same thing through 2022. So I, I think it's fair to ask at this stage, you know, at seven years old, is he, has he lost a little step from what we saw, mm -hmm. you know, in those seasons in the past? He's still right there, you know, finishing second on the the world stages. So not one to be counted out at all. But he looks well. He's traveled well. Similar in what we saw from Forever Young and the other Japanese horses with kind of a big open gallop for this little piece of work. But nothing too serious that they're asking for him right now. And he's a pro. He knows exactly what his job is at this stage of his career. I think it's fair to say at this stage of his career, he probably still has that arrow in his quiver. It's just a question of whether yes. he shoots it or not. Exactly. I mean, he's sound. Look at him move there. I mean, just per perfect. I mean, he's poetry in motion. But we we know what we got here with Ushba It's right. just, you know, if, is he going to bring that A race or is it going to be a B, a B minus? You know, you just don't know. But, I mean, we know what he is. I mean, he's outstanding. I mean, he, he was nearly the, the first horse to win back-to-back -back Dubai World Cups. He won right. and he was second. That, that That's a rare feat in of itself. Yeah, so he is uh, a tremendously talented and accomplished runner. And look, he's got a lot of whippersnappers in that classic that he can uh, beat up on. Fierceness, Forever Young. These are three-year-olds. He's seven. I don't think I don't think seven is old for a racehorse. We think of it as old for a racehorse. But like John Henry's horse of the year at age nine, five, six, and into seven, that's really the physical peak of these animals. Oh, for sure. Uh, well, we just don't see many seven-year-olds anymore. And that's just by virtue of the way the business the commercial business got to pack them off the stud. I don't. I don't have enough money to get involved in that, but I'm, I'll take your word for it. Arthur's ride, another contender in the long.